Many doctors from the Philippine Department of Health have incorporated pranic healing to their practice, including former Health Secretary Dr. Jaime Galvez Tan. Being an alternative healer, complemental healer, and now indicative healer, it was for me a great frustration that my wife, Rebecca, who developed a late adult allergy to the food that she loves. And the great frustration was how uh, all North American European style medicine did not work, and all other alternative medicine that I know did not work, both of us attended the pranic healing. So that's for me is the miracle of pranic healing. So my wife is now free from any allergies. <laughs> and lastly, I think uh, when I felt that irresistible force to be with pranic healing, I think that really I, I felt my spirituality has moved a thousand times more. I do claim that I'm on that road, but I think uh, being with pranic healing and also practicing what it preaches and walking the talk uh, has brought me more in greater spirituality. And I'd like... Many doctors have pranic healing clinics. With this pranic healing, I know that they will be, be treated with less cost. Dr. Mirna Mendoza has a pranic healing clinic in the Region 1 Medical Center. She applies pranic healing on her patients, most especially those who are unable to respond to medicines. She applied pranic healing on a six-month-old baby after resuscitation efforts were unsuccessful. The baby was miraculously revived. The, it was so amazing because the baby was, uh, the, the eyeball was the first that moved. There is also a pranic healing center in San Pedro Hospital, owned by the Dominican Sisters of the Trinity, who are also pranic healers. As a Dominican Sister of the Trinity, whose mission is to care for the sick, that with you as members of the pranic healing family, we will be co collaborating with one another. to do the mission of Jesus, to heal the world, and to heal his people. Unilab, one of the largest pharmaceutical corporations in Southeast Asia, sponsors their employees and retirees to become pranic healers. Through the overflowing generosity of their chairman, Joy Campos Hess, Unilab has offered their facilities for all pranic healing seminars and functions. Marina Tantoko of Rustan's Commercial Corporation has brought pranic healing to their executive, management, and sales personnel. After you've taken pranic healing, you will even love your religion more. You will appreciate it more. You will love Jesus more. I, when I took pranic healing, the basic, no, what, what really impressed me was the the, the character building. This has inspired many religious congregations to bring pranic healing to their superiors and schools. Integrating values formation in pranic healing, the students enthusiastically express their appreciation of the message of love and forgiveness through pranic healing. Ang natutuhan po namin dito sa pranic healing, yung pong aming kagandangang ugali, yung pong buong pagkatao namin. At syempre po, yung pranic healing nga po, para po siyang susi. Yung susi na po bukas sa aming mga puso, para po makita namin yung tunay na pagmamahal. Ito hindi para sa akin na, ano, mag-sorry kay Ayin Pash. O, dito na din ba this has led to the development of the Pranic Healing Curriculum for Educators that centers on the theme, Educators Integral Formation for Dynamic, Creative, Healthy, and Spiritual Leadership. Apostolic blessings were given by Pope John Paul II to Grandmaster Choa Kuksoy. Many priests have become Pranic Healers. Pranic Healing has opened a new thing to me, a new avenue. And perhaps uh, I should integrate this pranic healing in my work of justice and peace. Perhaps I should introduce pranic healing in my advocacy for Mother Earth. And finally, I think I should integrate also pranic healing in healing people's despair, hopelessness, and physical illnesses. And that is I myself learning to become a healer. So thank you. 
to pranic healing. Previous masses, sa mga responsorias was about tasting, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And pranic healing is one of the goodness of the Lord that I have experienced. Become more uh, connected, so connected with the sacraments and with God through pranic healing. And for that, I am very thankful. Father June Sipalay, as well as his seminarians, are all pranic healers. Father June applied pranic healing on one of the brothers who had a frozen shoulder. After one healing session, the brother was healed. Father Bell San Luis related a case about his fellow priest, Father John Sueda, who avoided kidney stone surgery because of pranic healing. Father Bong Angob is an active reflexologist. After combining pranic healing techniques to his practice, his energy tremendously increased. He could now accommodate many more patients. I enjoy it. Even if I'm not a patient, I'm not a patient. I'm not a patient. I'm not a patient. The superiors and sisters of many congregations all over the Philippines are incorporating pranic healing to help enhance their spirituality. They are experiencing spiritual rejuvenation and holistic healing of oneself and the community. And for me, what had happened to me, it was, it was a very humbling, a humbling experience for me because I was so amazed of how God could work in us. No? I am here, I was reflecting here. I was already thinking this would be very good also to the school where I am to help our teachers and the students, especially the college students, because this seminar is not just learning the technique of uh, uh, how to be an instrument of healing, but it is more on my personal spiritual uh, upliftment, is spiritual growth, because it keeps me get, always get in touch with God. Sister Julia Yap was completely healed of goiter and glaucoma. I was sent to the Philippines for healing, for operation or laser, that I was healed by pranic healing. I don't know what you call the test, which I did, and it showed some blockages, or a blockage in the, in the major artery. So she was not happy about it. She said, you know, I did not expect this, but you have ischemia. The doctor told me, who happened to be the director of Makati Med, he said, I don't see any problem. That was Through pranic healing, nawala yung lesion sa lungs ko. Eh, very, very vascular ang lungs. Eh, uh, binigyan ng tanning yung buhay ko na six months. Pero hanggang ngayon, ilang years after, buhay na buhay pa rin ako. Many organizations like the Bello Medical Group are incorporating pranic healing into their team building programs. One aim is to apply a holistic approach of enhancing the physical and inner beauty through pranic healing principles and techniques. Through pranic healing, the Philippine Air Force has shown that holistic healing for holistic living will lead to a creative, effective, and spiritual leadership, which will eventually bring forth world peace. Retirees and senior citizen groups are using pranic healing to help heal themselves, their families, and their friends. Many groups have organized regular and mobile healing clinics to help heal the community. Through pranic healing, each participant of a team building program or group retreat receives the skills and gifts of a lifetime, the transformation of the soul. The Pranic Healing mission is to have at least one practicing Pranic Healer in every family to fulfill its vision of alleviating the pains and suffering of humanity through Pranic Healing and Meditation on Twin Hearts.